Hi guys, uh, this is DJ Adams again. Uh, you know my setup and everything. Uh, just today, I just want to show you a little trick. What, what I, how I do to make my samples with the Control F1. Okay, so um, as you know, you can use Y Control F1 to control both remix deck. Okay, so at this stage, I'm on page one, uh, player one, or whatever you know, that is remix deck C. You can see that when I move this, everything is moving on this side, okay? So what I want to show you is how to make a, like a really, really good sampling, okay? Like, let's say that you have um, a sound that you want to cut into pieces or you want to cut to use a sound, uh, a bit of a sound to mix with another one. So most of the time, everybody knows that you press capture, you play the sound, and then you can capture it. 16 bits, 8 bits, 4 bits, okay, 32 bits. But there is one question how hard it, it, it is to cut the sound, you know, to capture the song where you want it, like you press it. Are you sure you're gonna get it on the right, the right place or what? But to do it my way, it is actually the simplest way, okay. Like, let's say I go back to the beginning of the sound, okay. So let's say I want the year or the only year. That's all I want to make to start to make my simple deck. Okay, so year start here. So that's all I want. I want the year. So is, is it gonna be two, two, one, four bit, eight bit? You know, it can't be eight bit. It's just a little sound. So let's try two bit. Like, if you want to cut it, like, while the song is playing, it's going to be hard. So my technique is what? I stop the sound there. I stop the sound here. And I bring my needle to where he is stuck. We know it's the, uh, the blue one. So I leave it here, just right here. And the sound is not playing. And then I press my key here. So that's what I did. Now I finish my capture and then I'm gonna test it if it work. Oh, oh don't forget you gotta change the type because I wanna make it on play. Also you have to start it here. Okay? There we go. So I don't want it on a go. I want it trigger. So now when I press it once it goes. Okay, this is too long. So this is not what I want. I didn't want it to. So I'm gonna restart again. I'm gonna put it on one. Let's try again. Capture. Okay. Finish, type, trigger. Yep. I got it. I got my year. You see, yeah, that's all I got. So if I wanted to, let's say, let's get a bigger, let's see the big picture. I want to make all kind of sample on this. Okay, so there is. I go. I change it. I go on this, and I got like kind of a bottle scratch sample. You know that I have. So let's say I load in my first thing. So it's all like there's like a lot of like many many things on it. You see. Let it hit So you know all this stuff I used to to scratch to mix and things like that. So. What I want to do, I want to have a lot of nice cuts of them, you know, like very short, short stuff. So let's say I'm going to cut this one here. Damn! I go capture. And this is my damn right here. So I go there, type of this trigger, boom. Oh, yeah, sound, sound, sound. Oh, 
It's not playing. The hell I've done. So let's change the type of it. Let's press let's try play. Oh remove the quantitization. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I like. Because of the quantitiz uh, quantitization, so he was doing that, I forgot. Yeah, I prefer this way. So, no quantization, no synchronization. I just put it on play. And play is the best way because, like, let's say, you know, a sound is playing. Uh, you know, you want to press it when you want. So you see, it make like a scratch, okay? So let's go again and try to look up something else. So feel the bass. I won't feel the bass, okay? So I like it. So what we do, I just go capture again. You know, short one. Feel the bass. Down. Type. Play. All of them I play. So I go again. So this is a bit shorter. So we have to make another capture because I want to fill the bass. So I just go capture again this one here we go got it change the type of it play down so here we go so that's the way I make my samples okay so I got cut three so that's the easiest way if you want to capture why your deck are playing this is how the way to do it but you can just go on each you listen to your song oh, yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, you can see it's a very large one, very long one. Yeah. So this might go up to four beats, okay? So if I go capture again, I go four beats, and I go capture it, and then I stop it and I try it. Yeah, yeah, come on, yeah, yeah. Now, let's say, this is too long, right? This is too long. So I go size. Come on, yeah, yeah. Yeah. You maintain yeah. it, then you Come reduce on. it. Yeah. Yeah. Come on. Yeah. Yeah. Now we are yeah. here. Stop. Yeah. Change the type yeah. of it. Play. Done deal. Yeah. Here we go. Now let's say, let's try a song and see what we can do with it. If it's going to do something cool or not. Okay. So I go back to my playlist. Okay. I go um, a bit of a hip hop, depending on what you got. Okay, go my hip hop list. Change it to BPMs. Okay, so it's from so from zero to order. Too many, too much, too much music inside. So I go. Let's go shimmy shimmy ya shimmy ya ODB Oh 
Now you can go synchro and quantization. Now you get up. See, so that's the way you can make it happen. And then you create your own samples, you save it, and then that's it. While you mix, you can go and you, you, you save your sample into Tractor, your samples, and then you just go and then you get the stuff, you chop them off, and then you make your own sample list. And then you don't forget that if you want it to work very, very well, don't forget that to change the names of the, of the samples you've made. So you know what, like if it's yeah, you just write big yeah or fill the bass, you write fill the bass. So you know which one is doing what and then so you can have, have your crowd happy. You can cut some sound of ODB or uh, Tupac or whatever and then you just make it the way it goes, okay? So that's all I did today. I hope I helped some people. See you guys and, you know, enjoy. Good luck. So, well, now that I finish. I, I haven't made samples on all the stuff, but I'm just going to give you, uh, like, I just got six. You can see the six. So I'm going to use just two or three to make the old, the old DB sound change different, okay? Like, a bit cooler, if you want. Okay, we'll see. So I'm just going to grab this, and I'm going to show you. So I press play now. Oh, you can even sing. Get this. That's all, you know. So all I mean, if you cut the sound properly, if you know where you cut it, if you know what you cut, and don't forget to change the name that like you can see, burst that groove, yeah, bass, fill the bass, black and yellow, yeah. So then you know at least what you've saved and how you did it. And don't forget to change it to, you know, the type of play you want. If you want it continuous, you know, to want to trust to trigger it. If you want it to synchronize it always, you know, and then on the go, you know, you just make whatever you want, you know. And then, yeah, you can change any sound to anyone. Don't forget also you can, you can cut beats, you know, beat hip-hop beats, R&B beats or whatever, or a voice of a singer and just put them there, make your sample deck and, you know, and do whatever you want with it. So just take it easy, take your time, make your sample decks, make many as you can. And make some folders where you know this is for hip hop, this is for harem this is for dance, this is for this and that. And then you know, at the end of the day, what's gonna happen? He's gonna make some amazing remix, and then you know, you're gonna be famous, motherfuckers. All right, as I say, yeah, that's it, boy. Bye. <laughs>